Today, I'll be making a 1D game in Scratch. The question is, what is 1D? Well, if this is 3D, this is 2D, then 1D must be this. That it's basically just a line like that. That's all a 1D game is. How am I gonna make this a game? Good question. I don't know. We can't have a background because a background would be 2D. We can only have one line going straight down. It has to be one pixel by one. That is very hard to see. You know, I'm gonna stretch the rules a little bit. I'm gonna make the line a little bit thicker just so you could see it. That is our game. I'm done. No, actually I'm not. I have to make a game. We can make a player. We're going to be changing colors. There's gonna be like obstacles coming down and you have to change colors to match the obstacle. And if you don't, then you die. This is the thing that's gonna be changing colors. So this is gonna be the player. First, we need a couple colors. We need red. I'm gonna do four colors. Red, green, blue, and can I think of another color? Red, green, blue, black. Okay, I'll do black. I couldn't think of any other color. Red, green. Oh, that's not green. That is red. Red, green, blue. That is not blue either. Okay, so we have four colors. Well, black. Black is not a color. I'll do purple. Or yellow. I'll do yellow. I really couldn't think of another color. That looks like green. Wait, I need yellow. That's orange. I need yellow. So we're going to be changing the color based on whether we press space. Press Okay, so I can, I can change the color, and now we need the enemies, um, obstacle. I'm getting pretty good here at making these, these fast game challenges in Scratch. It's getting pretty easy for me. So we, oh, wait, no, I need the same colors as the player, so I'll just duplicate it. I'll just duplicate the sprite. If you think about it, in a game, there's really only, there's really only two things. There's the player and the player. Basically all there is to a game. This is going to be green, red, green, blue. So these enemies are just gonna be moving down the line. It's gonna be like a color match game. That should be pretty easy, right? Okay, so these enemies, these need to start off at the right side of the screen. So set Y to 200, X to 200, forever create clone of myself. And then wait like a couple seconds before making a clone. So when I start as a clone, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, there we go. Boom. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. No, that's actually pretty hard, that's too hard. Let me wait one second. We're done with the game, actually, no, we're not. We need to delete. If we're touching the player, then we need like a, uh, we need a whole bunch of ifs. If touching player, and we need to detect if we're touching, wait, how am I gonna do this? Okay, let me think this out, let me think this out. If we, if we're, if we're yellow and we touch the player, then we delete the clone. If touching player, if costume, if costume, this is hard. My brain hurts. If costume, if the costume, oh wait, that's not black. That is yellow. It's yellow. And if we're touching the player and the player is yellow, touching yellow, then delete. Wait, then points. I'm gonna make a new block there. Wait, now we need a whole bunch of elves. I thought this was gonna be easy. If costume name is yellow. Okay, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. If we're touching yellow, okay, and we're yellow ourselves, then point, yeah. Else, if we're not yellow, then no, then dead. Dead! If we're touching yellow and we are no, if we're touching, yeah. Okay, now let me do the next one. If we're touching red, this is gonna be a huge block. Oh, it's already big. Okay, if we're green and we are blue. Okay, else dead. What is this? Oh, geez, that is huge. I need to condense that later. I'll do that later. Could we do a gradient? Would that count as? Something other than 1D. Yeah, I'll make it a gradient. Wait, does 1D also apply to colors? Does that mean I can only have one color? Blue, yes, yes, green. I died, okay, I think it works. That's out of score. Score. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add sound effects. Do that. Do sound effects count as 2D? I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna add some. And you know what? I also wanna make it, I wanna make the game smooth. You know, I want to make it juicy. So broadcast. 
um wait no. this goes in here broadcast player point i don't know if this counts as other than 2d other than when well we have the basic the basic stuff i can expand on the idea i can add effects i hope right there's a hack to make the size really a smooth uh, transition. Boom. Oh, that's cool. I like that effect. <gasps> no, I died. Let, let's add a game over screen. I'm gonna make... Wait, does game over screen have to be Wendy also? You know what? The challenge is done. I made the game. The, the game is Wendy, so I can make the game over screen. Game over. Game over. And I not spell you know what? I'll stick with it. I'll stick with the game over your screen. My spelling is terrible. Whenever I make videos, my spelling it just just disappears. Game over and show. And you know what? Let's add sound effects. Let's add default scratch sound effects. Let's see. Got effects. <laughs> what is that? No, you know? I'll do it. Game over. Ugh. It sounds like a baby crying. Where did Scratch get their sound effects from? No, I'll use this as the points. As the play point. What was it called? Ba? That does not sound like a sheep at all. Comment down below. What, what animal do you think this is? Maybe they just kidnapped some guy. And they made him scream. Easy. Oh, that was so close. And the game gets so annoying after a while, but I made a Wendy game. That's the challenge. Um, enemy. Wait, die. Okay, there we go. Stop all. Broadcast game over. That's surprisingly little code for a Wendy game. Whatever. Save now. Should I share this? Wait, Wendy game. You know what, I'll share it. Press space to change colors. Changed. To changed. Press space to change. Um, select the same color as the moving obstacles or you die. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another challenge.